Welcome to our 7 monthly news update. We're currently in our kitchen. So this month was my birthday. As always, super excited about that. And I am 4 years without using shampoo. Still alive. If you want to see more about that, watch this video. So we're currently hard at work here in the workspace with people from all over the world on precious plastic. But it's also nice if they can actually see the Netherlands. And we got this big deadline coming up. So it makes sense to take a little break before. So we went on a little bike holiday. We just got ourselves a few bicycles and started cycling around. No plan whatsoever. Um, so along the way we saw the typical Dutch landscape. Ate some fruits. What are we eating? Bram. Some weird cakes. And in the evening we started asking around if we could sleep somewhere. And this is something I usually don't do in the Netherlands. I might do it abroad in a different country. But not here. I don't know why, because it was actually super nice. We ended up sleeping at a, a milk farmer and he showed us around. And we slept in a hay barn with a lot of mosquitoes. And having this super Dutch breakfast in the morning. And it was super nice. But I, I think the most interesting was to learn about Alex's hat. So he has this little hat. And if it rains, he has a poncho to put on there. So it's like a little raincoat to put on his hat. I mean, it's just... Uh, it was fun. Anyway, back we needed to paint this big boy, which is a lot of work because it's kind of big and a lot of sanding. So we combined it with a precious plastic meetup, asking people to come, talk about plastics, see the workspace, ask questions, and all together sand this container. We actually had a few guys coming all the way from the front. It's like 600 kilometers hitchhiking, and then they came to sand the container. I mean, <laughs> I felt kind of guilty, but everyone had a great time. And in the end we, we sanded and painted the container and now it's actually finished. Not just that, but also the whole interior. But I'm not going to show you a picture yet because we're going to share it during the Dutch Design Week. We had Kai dropping by for one week in our workspace. He's an architect and he had a holiday, but he didn't really want to go on holiday. So he decided to spend this week here with our machines and all the plastic to design products for the new version. Super nice guy. And Katrina from Germany joined us. Um, she built a, a bike pedaled version of our shredder. But most of you guys might have seen her in our online community where she organizes this group buys for our shredder parts. So that's her avatar, but this is how she looks in real life. And Hello. she's super good in baking pies. Very important. Very important. And I went to Astana. It's the capital city of Kazakhstan. But it's only been that for around the last 20 years. So everything you see around you that's built there is, is new because the city is very new. Um, which kind of gives a, a weird vibe around there. But the people are super nice. So I give a presentation at the World Expo. And I, I do have to say I always feel kind of guilty about these things. Because on the one hand you give a presentation to show other ways of working and hopefully inspire people. But on the other hand you also need to fly in there for a 30 minutes presentation. So I, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. L let me know if you have any thoughts on that. Um, but anyway, I always try to get the most out of it. So while I was there, turns out there was also a precious plastic Kazakhstan. So we met up and we went together to a landfill, because it's nice, to see what kind of trash they have there and what people throw away. And I came with a nice souvenir. And finally, we set a launch date for precious plastic version three. So we're gonna present everything offline the 21st of October during the Dutch Design Week, like you've seen in our last video. This is where you can see all of our experiments, tryouts, products, the big container will be there. However, most of you guys are not gonna be there because it's probably pretty far away. So we're gonna do the online version one week before the 16th of October. We still have a lot to do for that. It's a big deadline because we need to document, film, a lot of things comes with it, but we're going for it. So that's all the news we have for this month, but we also have a lot of news from our online community. First, we have this little key hanger rack. It's uh, made from old bottle caps, and you can put them on your keychain and put it on the wall. So if you get home, you can store your keys. It's made by Carolina from Ecuador. So thanks for sending us. We have the Casablanca Atelier from Morocco, who build an extruder machine which extrudes quite thick lines. So everything they make is very strong and robust. And they also make these nice little balls extruded with a thick line and a nice gradient in there. 
And they also found a way to mark their products kind of easy because they use an existing bottle or product with a logo on it. They put water inside and when this is hot, they can press it in. It's a quick and effective, cheap way to mark your products, which you should do. <clears throat> and with our extrusion machine, they make a lot of nice, interesting objects, which will soon be in our online bazaar, so you can buy them. And we got David from Jerusalem, who is doing very experimental stuff with plastic, using the injection machine and combining it with wood. It, it, it's experimental, but interesting. And Phil from South Africa, who is currently studying in London, he built an extruder and shredder and he's making 3D printer filament. But he hacked our extruder machine to make it a bit more versatile and made a user interface. So you can control and see and set the temperature um, digitally, which is a super nice and accurate way to control it. You can read more about these news items in our online community. And finally, at one day, we came in a workspace and in front of the door were five of these motors and reductors. And we had no idea where they came from. There was no note, no message, just a few brand new, super nice motors. So we looked up the company, started mailing and calling, <laughs> took us a while. And we finally found the guy that brought them. And basically he saw a video of the project online and he noticed they have a lot of motors in the company and he just wanted to give a few. So Thank you very much for that. And I think this is the main thing that still fascinates me about working open source. In a way, you give a lot of stuff to the world for free, but people also give stuff back, which is super nice and it keeps amazing me. So thanks for that. All right, so that was all our news for August. Thank you very much for watching and supporting us. I mean, there's still a lot of things under development and not ready. But thanks to your support, we can make it happen and work towards this big deadline in October. So thank you very much and see you next month.